Hey everybody out there, it's Kevin Smitty Smith here. Uh, I'm beginning my solar campaign, uh, living off grid on a houseboat in Tennessee. Um, I'm not fully off grid, uh, I do have shore power here at the dock, but uh, part of my uh, desire to have clean power was when I go out on the lake, um, I'd like to be able to use uh, uh, some powered appliances at 120 volts and not turn my house generator on. Um, it's noisy, it consumes gas, uh, plus with the solar I can recharge that for free and uh, <clears throat> use quiet, clean power on the lake, uh, which usually there's plenty of sunshine to recharge things. So uh, the th first thing I bought, I was gonna buy an entire uh, system and, and set up uh, you know, with an inverter, a battery bank, and I decided just to start simple and add from there, but I'm starting with the uh, the Blue Eddy, uh, the Max Oak Blue Eddy uh, 240, which has uh, tons of battery uh, hours, and uh, the only problem is the 1000 watt inverter isn't enough to run everything. Well, most everything I have is under 1000 watts, other than a few cooking utensils, or uh, and uh, my coffee maker may or may not work, I haven't tried that yet, but I'll do a video on that, I think. Anyways, this is a video to uh, see uh, how my refrigerator works with uh, the uh, Blue Eddy and how long it may run. Uh, anyways, I've got a Magic Chef 9.2 cubic uh, small medium refrigerator. It's not the big one, it's not the little bitty one, but it's got the, uh, the bottom freezer on it. And that's the one. So I'm going to go ahead and I wanted to see how long I could run this thing on the lake because usually... Uh, you don't want your freezer to, uh, you know, to melt everything to melt in the freezer when I'm out there. And when I go out, I don't want to run my generator all day. So with this quiet battery, um, I can power stuff and recharge it with solar while I'm out, and you know, charge through. So this first video I'm doing is going to be something that shows you how the Blue Eddy responds to this refrigerator. Uh, with, uh, with no shore, shore power at all, just basically plugged right into it. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so here we go. Here's the Magic Chef. Right now it's off, no lights in there. Um, this thing actually stays pretty cool for a long time. Uh, it's a great refrigerator. Um, it's a little noisy, but uh, I like the bottom freezer because I don't access uh, that kind of stuff as much as I do the fridge. Got the refrigerator plugged into the the Met, a Blue Eddy, and uh, right now, let's kick the screen on to see what it says. We are drawing 87 watts, which is pretty good. I've got tons of headroom there. I know when the compressor turns on, it may spike it a bit. But right now, it's 87 watts, which is good. Okay, so the, the kilowatt meter basically shows you the high. Uh, when this refrigerator spikes and it kicks on, the compressor, it goes up to about 950 watts. Uh, which is lucky because the Blue Eddy can handle that for a bit. And then it now it's riding at 67.8 watts. So if this thing can run without kicking off uh, the Blue Eddy, I'll be good. I think it will. Um, because the Blue Eddy will run for a minute or two with some of those spikes up to 1200 watts. So right now we're looking good, 67 watts. It shows the kilowatt hours too, I'm not going to look at that. 109 volts and uh, 0.79 amps that's the low watts and uh, I'm gonna leave this and not reset it so it'll show the next spike and I'll show you that when it happens another thing I wanted to show you is uh, the battery level um, I just plugged the refrigerator in it's drawn uh, about 87 watts uh, and uh, I was curious as to how long I could run this thing with the refrigerator. So right now, uh, it, the battery is still full, which is what I started with. Um, if this is drawing 87 watts and on an average, this thing should run for 24 hours, right? 2,400 watt hours, you know, divided by 100. I'm averaging that out. That's 24 hours. So we'll see how this thing holds up. I'm going to leave it plugged in and I'm going to go do some, some errands and I'll come back later and show you the battery level and tell you how long it's been plugged in for that amount. 
Okay, so right now it's drawing 184 watts. It was normally running at about 80 watts, so I'm guessing that the uh, compressor is on. And still a great number as far as keeping it low, so I'm glad that the refrigerator can run on a lower wattage and uh, not blow this thing up. So, And the watt meter also says 180 or so, so it matches up, so that's a good sign. I like that. I'm a bit curious, uh, the refrigerator is still plugged in and now the unit reads zero watts being drawn. Now the back meter says 189 watts being drawn. Uh, I know that when this thing goes below 30 watts it won't show a draw. Uh, maybe that's the 12, that's the DC, I'm not sure. But um, it's odd that this is not showing a draw anymore. Um, I'm not crazy about that. Um, it should be showing something. Well, good news. Um, I was worried about something, but it's actually working perfectly as it's supposed to. When the fridge sits dormant and doesn't have anything running, it basically is below 30 watts, and it shows zero on there. I'm pretty happy about that, which is great because it means this thing won't run as much, and I'll get more battery life uh, because of that. Um, so uh, basically, it, it, it spiked at about 900 watts when it kicked on, which is fine. As long as it's under 1200 watts, we're good. So um, at 105 watts right now, beautiful. Love it. Okay, so it's been 12 hours. Uh, the Max Oak Blue Eddy uh, 2240 was charged up to full capacity when I started. Uh, after 12 hours, I still have three lines of charge left. Clearly, I wish I knew better numbers. That's not a very great indicator. It's kind of a rough uh, idea of what the charge still is. But after 12 hours, um, this thing has peaked at about 180 watts uh, when the compressor kicked on and has ran anywhere from 87 watts down to zero when it just basically is dormant. So it's kept this refrigerator running for 12 hours. The test basically proves that at this point, um, for 12 hours, the, uh, this, uh, this unit has only half depleted uh, approximately. And uh, I will be solar charging these in the, in the future, so uh, that'll be another whole video. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll be uh, able to charge this uh, to keep the capacity of, of the battery up and let this thing run all night, at least uh, a good part of the night before I start charging again the next day. Um, been a great purchase so far, and uh, I'm hoping to do other videos with other units that I'm going to plug in and see how they work, like a coffee maker and a few other units that are questionable. Anyways, that's it. So about a month ago, I, I decided that I wanted to um, add solar to my boat. It's a 36-foot holiday mansion, a small houseboat, and... Uh, I wanted to run my appliances, especially refrigerator and maybe some other things. Uh, the microwave probably isn't going to work out to get a, a smaller wattage microwave. Uh, anything under a thousand watts will run with will run with the Blue Eddy, uh, and uh, it's got a, a huge battery capacity as far as uh, what it is. You know, it's it's just a one piece unit, uh, and I wanted the longevity, uh, so I can run my refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours just uh, on a charge with no solar charging. So once I get panels put on this boat uh, and get some different options for that, hopefully I'll be charging through all day and keeping the refrigerator running on the lake. Uh, and other things that I want to run like lights, maybe a, a small coffee maker, uh, and some other appliances that I can cook with that don't uh, exceed 1000 watts. Anyways, uh, rather than turning on my gas generator to uh, fire up any appliance, I can use this unit and, uh, and to have clean, quiet power for everything. So um, I'll make more videos in the future about this stuff and um, I'm kind of at the beginning of this, of this journey so uh, it's, it's been pretty exciting and it's fun and hopefully nothing lights on fire and uh, I get some, <clears throat> some good solar power going on this thing. So thanks for watching.